you so much and I have benefited so much as you well. have yes, tell me about you <laughs> I have I think I've been there four or five times wow I have my six it should be four it should be four now let's see how it has contributed to the development of the youth in Ghana uh, you have 15 years of working we've had about 300,000 people in person engagement so this is the one that we have people who have come to a conference center and we've talked to them or we've had people who are leaders in their various spheres and their um, organizations having talked to them about how they succeeded apart from that last year we we were we were selected by the mastercard foundation to run a COVID 19 recovery and resilience program and based on that uh, program that we ran over a six month period, we engaged about 30 um, radio stations across Ghana, about 19 community information centers. And when we looked at the impact of that program, we were able to engage about 23 million people, wow. some in Ghana, some outside Ghana. In fact, based on our um, analytics, we realized that 18 13.7% our springboard participants are from outside Ghana. Wow. And that wow. is something that we are very, very um, in, happy with, yeah. you know, to know that we've, we've, been able to, we've been able to impact so many people. Um, the youth dialogues that we started right now is, 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 an, is an opportunity to even say, right, beyond the policy that are drawn for people, how do the people that the policies are um, done for, how do they engage with it, how do they ready themselves for it, how do they make sure that their policies are not just drawn, but they are actually working with the policies to realize the gains that we hope to get from those policies. So the Youth Dialogues is part of that onward um, 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 to drive that we have for um, our young people. All right, let's nice comfort Okran in the studios of ATL and be talking about building a sustainable mental for New York State. We have a uh, conversation here. The program is on Monday 29th at the uh, new examination uh, center. Listening to the journey, listening to the con uh, contribution that it has uh, had on the youth of Ghana, I think this program is a program you wouldn't want to miss for anything at all. Uh, now let's talk about the Springboard Ghana Care Scheme Dialogue Program itself here in Cape Coast. I mean, tell us about it. Well, you know, in June we started this, that's when in June, that's when we started this program to say, okay, we know, we've worked with the youth, we know what you need, we know, we've heard, but sometimes you wonder, how far can we go? And therefore we said, let's initiate a conversation between those in the top, those of us who are also want to have our voices heard. And let's come to the table and say, what are the issues? What do you have? Where are those things? How can we assess it? And that is what the Youth Dialogue is about. It's supposed to bring a much needed opportunity for us to engage the policy makers to see what is there. How can we assess it? If we can't assess it, how can we make ourselves ready to, 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 to take advantage of the opportunities? You know, um, it is said that luck is the meeting between opportunity and preparation. Mm -hmm. So if the youth are prepared, if they, are, mm -hmm. if they, if they, if they know that this is the, the train that is going, and therefore they can get ready to buy the whatever ticket, what, when I say buy the ticket, prepare yourself mm -hmm. to take advantage of that train. When the train comes in the, in the, at, the, at the station, you're already prepared. Yeah. It's not now that the train has reached that you are going to say, oh, let me go and buy the tickets, or you're asking, where do you buy a ticket? Mm -hmm. No. So we need to prepare ourselves. And once we are prepared, when the, the, the opportunity comes, we hit. So um, if you listen to the 22, 19, uh, 2022 uh, budget, which um, the finance minister shared, he talked about it being an entrepreneurship journey. If we want a Ghana of entrepreneurs, we must prepare the entrepreneurs. Where are the entrepreneurs? Who are best suited to be entrepreneurs? When we started Combat Impressions, we were just about under 30. And that was our first, organi first organization. And who are those in the state? They are youth. There's a youth. And so if, we, if, if they must know or you must come to the table, it must that you must repair that there is something there that I can take advantage of. And yes, it may be scary, but it's possible. 
It's possible, it's possible, it's possible. Uh, Madam Comfort Lucan is talking about how we should be prepared, I mean, uh, position strategically uh, mm -hmm. to wait for those opportunities ahead of us. Now, let's talk about the, the theme of the conference, building mm -hmm. a sustainable entrepreneurial state. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about it and uh, fuse in the relevance of, of, of uh, this whole dialogue, the opportunities and innovation for the youth. If we have 400,000 people coming into the workspace mm. every year, gradually, mm. and 400,000, 400, wow. mm. and the formal sector, when I say the formal sector, um, uh, who delivers uh, within, let's say, within the government agencies, government and private agencies, yeah. agencies mm. you have a limit to that. You don't have spaces for 400,000. What happens to, let's say, uh, the 50,000 who managed to get the jobs? What happens to the 350? Let's even make it even better. Let's make it, what happens to the 400,000 who don't yeah. get jobs? How do we engage them? However, if every one of that 300,000 people, let's say we are able to get 100,000 good businesses started, that single person can engage two more people. Or maybe even one. So now you have a business of two. So that takes two people out of two, two, 200,000 people out of the 100, 400,000. Mm -hmm. 100, yeah. The 100,000, they can now find, you know, they will now position themselves. Yeah. So if we say having a sustainable entrepreneurship program ongoing in Ghana, it's something that every single person must see how they can engage it. Once we are able to understand what it takes to be a successful entrepreneur or what it takes to be a good intrapreneur, mm -hmm. intrapreneur being that you are inside, you are working in an organization and therefore the integrity is needed, the um, being skillful in what you do, having your soft skills in place there and so on and so forth, you, 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 are, you are able to spot opportunities. You don't wait to be told that this bottle is here. You see the bottle here, you realize that the bottle is out of space. And therefore, you take the bottle from where it is and put it in this right place. You don't need to be told to follow the, the task. Mm -hmm. Once we are able to, to engage ourselves, and then once we are able to see what workplace skills we will need and how we can take advantage of the 10 billion opportunity that is being put in place in the budget. Remember our train? Yeah. The train, you must be prepared for the entrepreneurship train. And that is why on Monday, we are meeting at NEC to see what is the train, how does the train even look like? Is it a fast speed train or is it a slow one? If it's a fast speed train, how do we make ourselves fast enough to catch the train before it leaves us? Well, you'd have to be there on Monday, 29th November, the new examination center, UCC campus NEC, 9 a.m to 12 p.m. Lots and lots of uh, inspirational conversations supporting that opportunity and like um, uh, Comfort Ocon said, how to make a use uh, of that 10 billion in the budget. We all share and uh, make sure that uh, you be there. Let's talk about people who can be there, uh, who should attend the uh, Springboard Ghana Cares Youth Dialogue. Someone will be asking, you know, when you say entrepreneurs, a lot of people think you should be someone with, with that uh, huge sum of capital, someone with that idea. Uh, people have uh, a kind of misconception when it comes to entrepreneurs. Who should attend this uh, dialogue, youth, care youth dialogue? So in 20, 2010, we were Kumasi, mm -hmm. and we were like how I'm on the radio station right now, we were discussing that also Springboard is coming to Kumasi, so mm -hmm. come along. This young gentleman who was a uh, yogurt. I mean, he was selling yogurt on the street of uh, Kumasi. He said, ah, but me, street seller, would I, would I be welcome there? Mm -hmm. He said, it doesn't matter, let me go. Yeah. And he came. This is Michael. Michael was pushing and selling yogurt on the streets of Kumasi. He dared to come to Springboard. When he came to Springboard in that year, he had been a school dropout. He had finished his SSS. He decided to go back to school. So he went to school, finished his um, SSS in a year and a half, went to Sunyani Poly, mm -hmm. finished Sunyani Poly, 
did his national service and he did his service and then got a job with um, he did catering got a job with Kumasi and um, boarding to the hotel after that he decided that he was going to do an actual degree that time that you know that that time he used to have HMD so he did HMD did his degree he's finished his uh, he's finished his second degree his first degree he's doing his second degree he's a manager managing a hospitality facility in Sunyani right now so Springboard Youth Dialogue is not for any special person. It's for every young person on, on, on in Accra, in, sorry, in Cape, in Cape Coast, Coast or in Takrade yeah. or in Takwa. Anybody who is around this area who can make it to the neck hall on, 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 on Monday 29th is going to be one that we are engaging the people. We are bringing the Ghana Entrepreneurship um, Agency on board they are bringing the net a national and entrepreneurial and innovation program people to on board. They are there. You can write your name. You can get training from them. So then that your dream that you have, or maybe the idea that you have, they can help you craft it to become a viable project. Because if you just have an idea that you don't know how to execute it, it will be vain an idea. We need to match the idea with the how to get the idea to fruition. And once we get the idea to fruition, we have one business there, one business there, and the business, 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 business. We are engaging people. We are growing the, our nation, and we are growing and removing people from the unemployment bulge into gainful employment. Wow. The idea is there, but the idea is not enough. You need to get it on board. You need coaches and mentors to ship it, make it a viable project. That's what we're talking about here. Uh, make sure you are there Monday, 29th November at NEC and uh, be part of this uh, wonderful movement. Now, I think you will match what they should expect and also uh, how people listening, young people listening to this program uh, can be part of uh, that is uh, the Springboard Ghana Care Youth Dialogue. Well, um, the program is coming up on next 29th, it's from 9 to 12 noon. Of course, you would have some um, lunch afterwards, but the most important thing is that the information will be there. When you are coming, do come with an, an open mind and also with hard questions. Because the questions is by asking the relevant questions that will enable you to find what answers there are. And based on those answers, you can work your way forward. And therefore, come with your questions. Come with with with, with the expectation. Of course, we'll have our wow moment okay. because without a wow moment, there's no. There's no spring. The wow moment, a wow. Yeah, Sorry. wow. Yeah. So without a wow moment, there's no spring. But we also have buses. So if there's a young, it's a group. If you are a young group of people that let's say we are 50 in a place, we can send a bus over to you for the bus to pick you up. So let us know and and send them, send them your your um, send your information. Just say you keep post you dialogue. Send that um, um, whatever link okay. to zero two four nine 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 five 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 zero two four nine 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 five five five. If you send a link to us, we'll give. We'll, would you send a, a, um, the message to us? Cape Coast Youth Dialogue. We will send you a link to register. If you're a group, just let us know that you're a group, and we'll know if we find out how many. We'll see what kind of uh, transport we can uh, arrange with you. We can the, the bus will come and pick you up and bring you to neck and, and take you back okay. in. The, the, the link again and the number is again. The number is zero two four nine 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 five 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 zero two four nine 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 five five five. Send us a message with your name. I mean, we'll send the link to you to register online. Or if you're a group, let us know how many you are in the group. We will send a, a bus to you on Monday morning to bring you to NEC and take you back to where we your, your, your pickup point. So that is how the people of Cape Coast and surrounding areas can take advantage of this beautiful experience and come in and, and, and enjoy. It's a beautiful experience. Radio Cape Coast University in Fusu Magazine, uh, Takrade, wherever you find yourself, uh, proud